おめでとうございます。乾杯。乾杯。Cheers. Cheers. So thanks so much for coming to, uh, to celebrate uh, Nobel Prize. So at first I'd like the formal speech, so I prepared something, so I want to read this one because it's easier for me. And uh, so I'd like to thank the members of Nobel Prize Selection Committee and members of Swedish Royal Academy of Science for honoring my invention of the blue LED and laser. It also makes me happy to see that my dream of LED lighting has become a reality. Nowadays, we can buy energy efficient LED light bulb at the supermarket and help reduce energy use. I hope this helps to reduce global warming too. I have been very fortunate to be supported by many people in my career. I got my first break from the Mr. Nobuo Ogawa chairman of Nichia, who supported my gamble to make a blue LED. Also, my young colleagues at Nichia helped a lot. I am also grateful for the support of UCSB, uh, Chancellor Henry Yang. Uh, he is not available today, and luckily he is in Hawaii. But he has a big, big support for me, support for me. And the solid lighting in the Energy Electric Center, you know, whose members are, you know, Jim, Steve Mesh, and uh, my dream of LED, uh, uh, <coughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so the lighting feature has continued to support my research on LED lasers and my dream of LED lighting. After the breakthrough in making the bright blue LEDs in 93, an explosion of research activity occurred. Many researchers joined the field and applied the LED to many fields, such as mobile phone, screens, LED TV, and the LED lighting. Today, I hope that everyone can use efficient LED lighting to save energy. Thank you so much. Uh, I was sleeping, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I believe that I'm so nervous. So, uh, thirty percent I was sleeping, seventy percent was well, you know. <laughs> I'm struggling to sleep. You know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because uh, you don't know, uh, at, at, uh, at, uh, in the developing countries like Africa, they have uh, no electricity. Means uh, there are no lighting. So only available lighting is uh, you know uh, solar cell plus a small battery and plus uh, white LED. So using you know solar battery, they charge at daytime. They charge the small battery, and nighttime this uh, battery supply electric power to the white LED. And now they can use LED lighting, so light lighting. So this, this technology is very popular in, uh, in the developing countries because uh, also cost is very cheap. Because uh, without a white LED, initially they used uh, oil. Oil, so, you know, they buy, have to the oil. So it means uh, every month they have to buy oil. It's very expensive. But the solar cell plus battery plus LED, uh, uh, initially they invest $10, $20, and uh, almost forever, no, no more maintenance, no, no more cost. So it's very cheap for developing countries, this technology. So, so this technology is very uh, popular in developing countries. Any other questions? Yes? When you first started working on this, did you have any idea that it would end up where it is today? 
Oh, what, what, what's the question? Yeah, my. When you first started working on the LED yeah. in the 90s, did you have any idea that it would arrive to what it is today? No, no, no idea because <laughs> because uh, because uh, when you know in uh, initially when I joined my former company, I started uh, red LEDs for for ten years, and red LED is already a big company making red LEDs, so sales is very bad. So company became mad to me. So you, you should quit the company immediately, no? So and after ten years, became, uh, I became so mad too because the uh, company asked me to make up red LEDs, but no sales. I mean, the company became mad to me. So, so I desperately went to the uh, chairman's office. Uh, the chairman is uh, CEO, and I said, "Oh, um, I wanted blue LED because uh, I wanted blue LED at that time." And the chairman said, "Okay, you can do blue LED." And uh, also previously, they never made me big money. So I asked the chairman, I need uh, five million dollars to develop blue LED. And he said, okay. Just uh, five seconds. I talked five seconds and everything okay. And, uh, and then I started, uh, and also I never went, been to abroad. So I, I wanted abroad. So I also the chairman asked, I, I went to the University of Florida for, to study blue LED. And, and that's an excuse. And I went to the University of Florida one year. And then in 18, I came back, I came back, I started blue LED. And, uh, and at that time, no, no, <laughs> no, just I desperate to study in Australia. And also, I wanted to have a PhD degree at that time, because at, uh, when I went to University of Florida, I, I found that the PhD degree is most important in the United States, you know? Without the PhD, you know, just like a technician, no? <laughs> so at that time, I, my degree was a master degree. So I came back to the Japan, and my dream was to, to get to the PhD, not to, to develop blue LED. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true story, because I saw that I cannot make blue LED. At that time, big company like, uh, you know, big company, Panasonic, all company, big company working for blue LED, also all big universities working for blue LEDs. My, in my case, in research, just one person to me, and the uh, University of Tokushima is a local university, I graduated, nothing. So, so my dream was uh, to get a PhD. So I, at that time in Japan, by submitting uh, several scientific papers, we could get a PhD degree. It's called a paper degree. We don't have to, I, no, we don't have to go to university. Just publishing five scientific papers, we could get uh, degrees, PhD, just paper degree. So my dream was uh, to publish five scientific papers at that time, not blue LED. <laughs> so, <laughs> So at that time, two materials available for blue LED. Uh, one is a zinc selenide based material, another is a gallium nitride based material. So basically, 90% of scientists are working for zinc selenide based materials. Only 1% people gallium nitride. So, but uh, in my case, I want to publish papers. If I select the gallium nitride or zinc selenide, too many papers. So I said, I think, oh, I can't publish any paper. But if I select the gallium nitride, basically no paper. Also, I can publish uh, at least five. So that means I select the gallium nitride. <laughs> and then luckily I could uh, develop blue LED. That is a short story, so yeah. <laughs> so basically, you know, this part I started the gallium nitride, blue LED research. Yeah. <laughs>